certainly the victims on the new case have every reason to feel like, hey, wait a minute, what happened? New information tonight about a prior criminal case against a Utah man who's accused of sexually assaulting a child in a library restroom. Once again, good afternoon, everybody. Troy Sickler Jr. is in the Salt Lake County Jail tonight, held on $100,000 bail. KSL is digging into Sickler's past and learning this is not the first time he's been accused of victimizing a child at a library. New specialist Jeff Lysick is live in the newsroom with those details. Yeah, Ashley and Keith, this is the probable cause statement West Jordan police filed when they booked Sickler into the jail. And these are the documents from his previous brush with the law less than two years ago. The allegations contained in here and in here are striking similar. The West Jordan branch of the Salt Lake County Library is a thing of beauty. It's the fanciest library probably ever. But police say something ugly happened here, and that has Becky Mayer feeling. Really upset. Um, and the fact that they hadn't caught him up until now it really made me upset. West Jordan police arrested Troy Sickler Jr. on Saturday, booking him into jail for investigation of child sex abuse and child kidnapping. Investigators say Sickler sexually assaulted a five-year-old boy in a library bathroom on Wednesday. And court records show it's not the first time he's been accused of something like this. In April 2015, he was charged with misdemeanor lewdness after police said he crawled under a bathroom stall in a West Valley library and exposed himself to a seven-year-old boy. That case was ultimately dismissed the following year when Sickler was ruled mentally incompetent to stand trial. He functions at extremely low intellectual capacity. Attorney Greg Scordis has never represented Sickler, but has worked as both a sex crimes prosecutor and a defense lawyer. He isn't surprised the prior case was dismissed based on his reading of the court records. There were no triggers or no, no, nothing that showed up on these evaluations that would have led people to think that he's a continued risk, only that he committed a misdemeanor offense, he's a young man, and he has extremely low function. That doesn't make library patrons like Mayer feel any better. Whatever happened the first time didn't work. <laughs> um, maybe tougher restrictions on this guy, maybe lock him up forever in my opinion, but I don't think he should see the light of day again. Now, Scordas said it's unlikely Sickler will be found competent to stand trial in the new case because his incompetence is based on his extremely low IQ. If that is, in fact, the case, Scordas said a judge could still find that Sickler poses an ongoing threat to the public and could send him to the state hospital. Ashley. All right, Jeff Lysick reporting live for us in our newsroom this evening. Thank you, Jeff.